along Heather Main here, we found a little bit of a showing. And I found a portion of this the other day, but I did a little bit more digging. And along here, you have a small fracture which follows the rock here. And in that fractured area, you have a very thin band of sulfides, quartz there, calcite, iron pyrite, calcopyrite, some epidote. So here's a piece. You can see the mass of calcopyrite and iron pyrite. And over here, where this little showing is kind of pinched off, you have another area here that's mineralized. Similar mineralization all up in here. And then down here in your quartz calcite mix, you got calcopyrite, very blotchy calcopyrite, but it's all throughout the quartz and also follows where the epidote is. Pulled a few pieces out there. We're going to try and get a big chunk off of the bar here. And as you can see, calcopyrite, lots of coarse iron pyrite. And we got the giant chunk. Just number two took off. You can see a nice amount of calcopyrite. Let's break her open. Calcopyrite, and there's definitely boronite in here. Some very nice mineralization. Lots of small little pieces here. You can see there's a rock contact here. Obvious change in rock. You got volcanics here, but you have lots of areas like this cutting through where you see mineralization. Little lenses all over, you can see this one continues up over top. I'm more or less taking a composite chip. I've taken a chip sample every meter across this area here. You can see over there, over there, here, here, there, right there. And this is a small, five to seven centimeter wide vein that goes in behind here. I've abandoned the idea of taking a composite chip across this. There's so many odd seams, stringers and patches all over the place. It's 
in no way continuous, I think. So we're just taking a bunch of spot chip samples where there's heavy mineralization. Mineralization seems to be heaviest where you see your burgundy colored oxidation, your green epidotization, mix of pyrite and calcopyrite, but about 90% pyrite, 10% calcopyrite. And this continues around the corner. few samples from there. These patches that are solid hunks, those are calcopyrite. Mostly disseminated throughout this pyritophaceous vein. Back at this showing here, solid mineralization. And uh, you have a showing about a meter thick, four meters wide. Just broke this piece off here. I'm going to hammer it open and show you. Okay, I broke it open. Take a look at this. Massive sulfides. Massive calcopyrite, pyrite, magnetite. We got one meter wide of this by four meters exposed. Got another big piece here we're pulling off. If we wanted to, we could take this also from that outcrop, but this is easily 500 pounds, a couple hundred kilograms. Here's some of the samples we just pulled off in five minutes. Can't get much nicer than that.
very nice amount of calico pyrite in this. Couple last samples here. This alone has got to be 20 pounds. And here is the last one. Gorgeously mineralized all throughout.